Over the years, Discmania has produced some of the most popular fairway drivers that we've ever seen in the sport of disc golf. And today I've got a really cool stack of discs that I would like to share with you guys. I've got the FD, the FD1, the FD2, and the FD3. Now I do have two FDs I wanna show you guys today. I've got a very, very early glow Innova made FD. This is before the Nate Perkins Night Strike ever even came out. Then we've got a slightly newer FD and the flight is so different on those two discs. I thought it would be cool to show you guys both flights. Then I also have the Casey White FD1, which is in my opinion, a retooled and remade version of the FD2, which was one of Eagle McMahon's favorite fairway drivers, particularly in his earliest years with Team Discmania. And then we also have one of the newer Discmania discs um, that they've sort of reborn is the FD3. There were Innova made FD3s, but I think they flew a little bit less stable than these. And yeah, I've got this cool European Open double stamp FD3 to share with you guys today as well. We'll work our way up from the bottom. We'll start with the two FDs, then we'll do the FD1, the FD2, and then we'll do the FD3. We'll start with this flippy, very old school Innova made Glow FD. This is probably my favorite disc of the bunch here. Getting a nice turn in the mid flight. Um, very, very glidey, very, very straight. Kind of the quintessential FD flight that everybody has grown to love. Then we've got the Jackal Run FD. This one happens to have a tournament stamp on it, but it is from the Jackal Run. <laughs> Flying very similar to the Glow, but just with a little bit more stability at the end of the flight. Then we've got the Casey White FD1. Flying a lot more stable than the FD. Um, that's what it was designed to be. It was supposed to be that drive it hard and flat. It's going to go straight most of the way and then fade to the left at the end. Then we have Eagle McMahon's been the one who was most known to throw these. These are very hard to come by. We've got an original FD2. Oh, that makes sense. She's absolutely beefy AF, as the kids would say. And then even a step up in B from there, we've got the FD3. Hopefully you guys can see this disc. It's not the best for the camera, but let's see what we can do. It's probably the best snap of the bunch. The FD3 is one of those discs that is never going to want to turn unless you just beat it into extreme proportions and you've thrown it like thousands of times, you may get it to start popping up and turning a little bit just like a super beat in Sexton Firebird might eventually do. Um, let's go gather everything. We'll throw them a few more times. This is a video that I had mentioned making in the past and you guys seem to really wanna see the difference between all these discs. So I rounded up what I had for my collection and I was happy to see I actually had what I think is the full FD lineup. And at this point, I've been making disc golf videos for a very long time. And I, re I remember as these new discs sort of came and went, when I first got into disc golf, Basically, everybody was throwing the Discmania FD. It was just basically slightly more stable than a Leopard, slightly less stable than T-Bird, and just that perfect disc for players of all arm speeds. And then they came out with the Night Strike runs, the Night Strike 2s being very stable, the Night Strike 1s being flippy, extremely sought after. Simon Lazat was throwing the Night Strike 1 for a very long time. He had an orange one, and he considered it to be the mid-range of fairway drivers because he could basically get it to hyzer flip, turn, do anything he would want a mid-range to do, but he would just do it with the night strike instead. Um, these discs have really cool history and Team Discmania has a really interesting history, having originally been paired up with Innova, in my opinion, basically being treated like Innova Europe and then eventually branching off and doing their own thing and then eventually being purchased by Latitude 64. It's a pretty unique and interesting development of how they grew and changed over the years. And early on, the new like Discmania made stuff, I wasn't a huge fan of, but I'm starting to see a lot more molds come out, um, a lot of new plastics come out. I'm actually slowly becoming more of a fan of, and I really like the direction that they're currently heading in. We'll give everything a good toss back. We'll start off with the Glow FD. I actually got this one from when I was living in Australia, I got this from a player named Ryan Budge. 
Not sure if he's even really playing anymore. I haven't really looked at his PDJ profile in a while, but he was on Team Innova Australia, and this was a disc I saw him throw very well for a long time, and then he eventually sold it to me, and I still have it. So shout out Ryan Budge. It's a great FD. Still flies good. And we've got the Minuteman Classic stamped that I got from another Team Discmania player, Rivas. Another really good disc. Definitely a little bit more stable. Those two FDs are really great. One, two punch to one another. This thing seemed really beefy the first time. We got the Eagle McMahon style FD2. Not wanting to go well, it actually went just a little bit further than the uh, FDs. Probably because it wants to... No, I'm doing a YouTube video about some Discmania discs. Yeah, no, I, I try to stay off Reddit. They'll kill me on there. No, I'm dialed. I won't hit you. The Casey White FD1 was a lot more stable when it was new. I've probably thrown it roughly 10 or 15 times, and it definitely seems to be a little bit straighter than I remember. But also recently I've been throwing a little bit harder and a little bit more nose down than I used to, so I'm getting a little bit better flight out of it. Now we've got the FD3, we'll flex it so we don't hit big homie on the left. <clears throat> Just a really great and complete fairway driver lineup from Discmania. Um, particularly the old Innova stuff is definitely, you know, my favorite of the bunch. All right, we'll give everything one last throw and then we'll wrap things up. Honestly, I probably need to throw this KC White Skywalker FD1 a little bit more. This thing is flying like an absolute beauty. I've been changing my fairway drivers very often lately. I kind of have the flippy one locked in. I really love the Brave, but... I had a T-Bird in there, and I've got a Kristen Tatar, like, Ice Glimmer Explorer in there. This Casey White Skywalker might have to go in the bag for testing purposes. All right, let's give everything one last throw. Glow FD, Ryan Budge. There it is. That's what you want out of an FD. Glidey and straight. Very simple, no more, no less. Then we've got the Jackal FD. Glidey, straight, a little bit more fade, a little less turn. Typically, I found that that one doesn't go quite as far. Eagle McMahon, FD2. This disc is really interesting. They had several different toolings of this because they weren't quite happy with it. They retooled it, but then everyone wanted the originally tooled runs which I do believe that this is one of the earlier runs. It's a penned FD2 um, with the Innova embossing around the rim, but no embossing on the disc. It's penned, not embossed what the mold is, and then has the uh, Rancho Cucamonga on it. So if you know what tooling this is, let me know in the comment section down below, but I think it's first tool. That one's really nice too. I feel like I can like, really smash into that one. Then we've got Skywalker himself, Casey White, similar line. <laughs> Just as stable as the FD2, they're trying to make something similar. They absolutely nailed it. Then we've got the double stamped EO FD3 on the flex. Last throw of the day and then we'll wrap this video up. way more stable than everything else. Anyway, guys, I hope you learned something about the history of the fairway driver line from, you know, the old Innova runs all the way up to um, some of the new Discmania stuff. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. I really appreciate you guys who watch my videos all the way to the end. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, go check out my sponsors, Power Grip USA, BergsDiscSports.com. Both of those have discounts, the link in the description below. See you guys in the next video and take care.